Hi. Hey! What is it with that kid? What kept you, Slowpoke? Sorry, my mom just wouldn't go to bed. So, is it finished? Sure is. The last bearing's in, and she's primed for action. Wanna see? Do I ever? All right. Here goes nothing. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh is this me? Oh, this is so so. Neat. You betcha. It's so neat. <laughs> The new Coupe Deluxe ain't got nothing on us, Ollie. It's not even close. So, you ready to hit the road, kiddo? The coast is clear. I better go tell Phil. Don't go. What? Huh? It's bad. Please, Oliver. Don't go. Huh? H who are you? How do you know my name? Ollie! What's taking you so long? I'm sorry, Phil. Someone saw me. Oh, man. Who was it? Oh, uh... That girl over... Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? There's nobody there. Huh. That's weird. She was right there. A girl. A girl, huh? Mm-hmm. I bet it was that dumb, scary Mary. Oh, no. Couldn't be. She's not allowed out. You must be going screwy or something. Anyway, come on. Oh, oh, okay. Oliver, the boy who will save the world. But unfortunately for him, his light is yet a mere candle in the blackness. Indeed. He may be the child the prophecies speak of, but he is a child nonetheless. Yet these humans can be... disturbingly powerful. Did the other's darkness not engulf the land entirely? Might this one not prove equally... Tenacious. What would you have me do, Your Radiance? Such saplings must not be suffered to grow. Very well, Your Radiance. He who would save this doomed world must die. Sweetie? Where are you? Oliver?
Lisa! Um, you're kinda busy tomorrow, huh? Well, now that you mention it, I do have to practice for my concert in the morning. Oh yeah? So, you'll be in bed kinda early, huh? Oliver! Oliver! Whatever will you children get up to next? Hmm? Uh, Allie? Oh. She always did have a weak heart. Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom! You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? And soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Let us see how this story unfolds. I am sure the ending will be... engaging.
What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy? That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you a snivelling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunting you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, are we? Bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is going to take a while. Ready? Uh huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, I will. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? This quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of yours, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shaddaa, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into yours, the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shaddaa for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I...? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right. Especially with me to help you. But I... Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, fair dues? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? I... um... no. Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I... I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty, yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just how these things are done. It's tradition. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because you were mom dropped dead? Uh, yeah. You got a photo of her? Uh... Hurry up, will you? I haven't got all day. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save you, ma'am. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Yeah. The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, your mam, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Wait. How do you know all this, Mr. Dribby? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I'll do it. 
I'll come to your world. I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book! Huh? A book? But it were burning there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion, the fount of all wizarding knowledge. The Wizard's Companion. Tidy. Right. Magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm. Now, let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right at least, was it? Ah. Uh.
You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway... There's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it, you know, having a sidekick, like? Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people ride in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Right, now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Yeah? Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess.
It's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Go in, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! <sighs> so this is... your world. Ah, home at last! But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk! Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers! Where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look lively. He's making his move. Well, hey, proper tidy. Nice one, Ollie boy. Jeepers, creepers. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But... Where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So... Are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shaddaa showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that. Much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness. We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time. Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will, and that's why we need to find you a better wand. All right. 
Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! Uh, uh, uh. Looks to me like a classic case of broken-heartedness. Broken-heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken-hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls just uh, aren't themselves. Go all weird and useless, uh, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by... Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell.
Shaw.